Hey guys, and welcome back to another Random Distractions where we're playing Tacoma. And in this one, we're going to try and review the recording, uh, but this one from Andrew's perspective here. Is he in here the whole time? Oh, maybe he got caught smoking. Oh, wait, where is he? Oh, uh, maybe not. Let's see. All right. What do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success, then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Great. I'll, um... I'll head downstairs and get started on something. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Wanna yeah. Sure. Ask you, are, are you okay? Davy. Nope, I'm not. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I. This is all crazy. But you said you. I know. I, okay. I know what I said. Andrew. They really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I, I don't know what to say. Hey, what are they carrying? It's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I... I don't know what to say. Bart and Nat need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting mm. cryo. I'm not... I'm gonna be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just give me a little time. Hmm. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just want to go home. I understand. <sighs> do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98. Point four hours. God. Mm. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know, people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... If we don't make it out of this, can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. Mm. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. Mm. Oh, you can restore some of this. Dang it. Okay. Andrew, I'm not talking about who's playing, paying the bills. I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months, and that's not even taking my feelings into account, which I'll just set aside for now. You might not think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my parents did well in the currency cash crash. My dad always says, blah, 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 I just want you home. Oh. 
Relying on your parents' charity is your solution? I'm building equity up here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas's school, and if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all that, and I am not something. Don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know something. Really getting hard not to feel unappreciated. Listen, I'm sorry, I just... Connection lost. Message unsent. Attempting to resend. Attempting to resend. Message with E.V. St. James. So I guess we should just carry on as normal. We don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But BT's supposed to come pick us up, right? Within 24 hours? Listen, just increase our oxygen supply in the short term. It's if worse came to worst. Hmm. Message with Natalie. There's really no way of getting a signal out. There must be something if you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew. All comms routed through a secured VT laser array and it's been destroyed and the redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. Hmm. Great. So I was thinking that you weren't able to access those memories because... Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to try to see if I can get those other ones. So now it's Sarah. Or... This is when she came out, right? Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green. Yes. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, you could get everyone to medical. I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's. Okay. Uh, so let me. I already checked his. I checked hers. And this one is purple. Oh, that's her. Evie. Let's see. Am I able to recover anything else? Message with Sarah. Standard practice is don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked, right? Sorry. 72 hours without risk of brain damage? Past that and you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Message with Natalie. Uh-huh. But Bert says she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep, and and I need to write up a serious flavor interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside, but it's going to be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay, okay, hold on, checking something. Gotcha. Message with Roberta. But what if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? What if we were sending ourselves down in the delivery drone? Yes, with some modifications, the bigger issue would be its lack of life support. Something salvaged from around Tacoma. We could rig up oxygen, pressure, climate, something control drone down to Luna and get home from there. If we're not confident in VT making it up here before O2 runs out and we can't call for pickup, getting down to Luna is our only real hope. 
Okay, sit tight. Good idea. Thanks, Bert. Okay, so they looks like Roberta had the idea of using the drone that they used to drop off supplies as a way to get them down there. Um, but in order for them to have enough time to do that, they need more oxygen so that they can do the modifications to the drone. And that's why they were going to go to sleep and these other guys were probably going to go to sleep as well. Okay. Okay. I didn't expect them to either. I didn't expect them. To... I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head no, downstairs. I didn't expect them to either. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie! Hey, um, I know you're all like gung ho to help us out and everything, but. I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you <laughs> flying. About VT? Yes, we can to six. So. We made a plan. <laughs> this is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. Why did we lie? Hmm. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshop! Hmm. And then they went down to the workshop. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything else? Botanist office. No. Okay, the data process is complete. So let me. Okay, that's that. That's that. Oh, and there he is. Okay, let me see if I can look at these. To Nicholas, love you both. Dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but uh, something accident on the station, and if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it, and I'm sorry. Nicholas, I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up, to be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together, but something, don't forget me. I know, or don't forget me, know that I loved you more than I'm then I'm sorry, Odin, I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. Hmm. Station message with Roberta Williams. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system, no onboard controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. And I'm just going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station. And hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So, I really need to get back to it. Sorry, thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. From EV St. James, prepping for car. Do crew, I would rather not be writing this. Clive and I... Now, why... I wish I weren't signing these words... It is because, above all, I believe in this crew and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We will breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will feel the Earth's pull again, together. For now, Clive and I will do our, our part and settle into cryo. Soon, Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat, we're all counting on you. Something couldn't be in better hands. With love and gratitude, Evie St. James and Clive Siddiqui. Uh, whoops. Missed one last thing. Andrew, something information requested, answers to your frequently asked questions, Ventura's contractor handbook. While Ventura strives to ensure the safety of each of its contractors, occasionally accidents do happen. In the case of that, a contract, uh, that a contractor dies, blah, 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 transport of remains and funeral arrangements are paid for by Ventura's loyalty and any additional Ventura's accident insurance that the contractor has invested it in are immediately transferred to the contractor's specified beneficiary. Compound loyalty continues to accrue contract term. 
stay safe up there and something it is everyone's job to keep contractors and employees safe oh man all right okay so this is sarah which and then here message with natalie hey ladies your scans look good you're cleared for a cryo uh, if God forbid something into the pods, attaching same standard instructions I sent along to E.V. and Clive, a patient's guide to cryogenic sleep. In the case of a medical emergency, surgical or other required medical facilities, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at something. Preparation medical staff will scan. Dosage of diuretics and laxatives. Uh, medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. Okay. Failed. That one failed. Okay. And then this is Natalie. Message with Evie St. James. No, it's okay. Don't worry about something. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know something not going to let you down. That's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to something see you on the other side. This user is offline. Okay. Okay, so now... Okay, let's see. Subcounter Ferry, proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once AI data is transferred from all modules, you must also secure and return the AI's physical processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here as I make my way back to the transfer thing. Um, would of course definitely appreciate a like and uh, on the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll know when the next one drops um, and yeah unfortunately you know if this is being done by a company sometimes that doesn't always work out so they had to make some sort of plan I suppose so but yeah so uh, until then I hope you have a good one